Jules Roma, winners on the day. AC Milan as well. They picked up a 3-2 win over Udinese, but that's not really the story that's making the rounds about this game. Play was suspended after what appeared to be another incident of racism. Mike Magnan, the goalie, abandoning the pitch along with his teammates. Really, Jules, just ugly scenes. Yeah, ugly, Sebi. I mean, we say it all the time, but how can we be in 2024 and still talk about things like that in, in football stadiums? But that's what happened. And I think we have to applaud what Mike Menion did tonight because I think this could be very significant. I hope this could be a turning point too in the fight against racism in, in football, but all over in society as well because he didn't say anything the first time. He was racially abused when he went to get the ball to take a, a goal kick. But then the second time it happened again from the same curva, from the same stand in... Uh, in, of the stadium, he decided that that was too much. He went to, he told the fourth referee and then the, the, the referee who decided to stop the game and, and Mike just walked off with his teammates. I think everybody should have walked off, but at least it's a start that when the game is, is suspended for 10 minutes because of that uh, and that the goalkeeper, or a player by himself, decided that this is enough now, this, this has to stop uh, and decided to stop the game. So let's hope that the culprit could be fine and surely with the CCTV cameras we've got a stadium, even in all stadiums like the one is in Italy, you can, you can, you can get that. And I think for, for many of who, the other thing to applaud really is how calm this stayed. Because I think when he was in a similar position against Juventus a few years ago, if you remember, he got really angry and this time I thought he stayed really calm. He just walked off saying like, I can't, I, this is not acceptable, I can't take this. But by staying calm, I think he helped the situation a lot. And, and it didn't happen again when, he kept, when the, the, the game restarted. So I, th I think he did the right thing. And, and let's hope now we can find those people that they will never put a foot again in a football stadium. And that hopefully Serie A and Italian football and, and football in general will be better. Kieran, you're not far removed from the game. I wonder about your reaction, not, not necessarily to what happened in the stadium, but also then the response from Mike Magnan and his, his AC Milan teammates. Yeah, I thought they, the players handled it, handled it brilliantly. I thought um, Mike Mignon was 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 brilliant. I mean, listen, I think we haven't we haven't heard of a case for a while, um, and it kind of you know goes through waves where we don't hear about it, and then an incident happens, and you know everything kind of blows up again. But I thought the way he handled it this time was was brilliant. Um, that's what you want to see from from a professional. Um, and I think he kind of well, he really set the standard for, you know, how how you should deal with those kind of incidences. Um, it, yeah, it is so, so obviously still surprising that we still have to have these conversations still in this day and age. Um, I would probably like to see less chances given um, when these kind of things happen, um, because I think that that would, you know, after the third time that the second time that he went out the, the 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 play was fine and the game continued and everything was good um so you know to really stamp it out you know there's a slogan that says no no room for racism that should mean that there's zero room no room at all um so no second chances um the, the game has to be abandoned uh in my opinion but this is a start so um yeah i thought that you know, that was a really good thing that, that Mike Mannion done and the players done and the manager, um, I thought, dealt with it very well.